Hello, welcome to Morris Money, where we give you stock tips in under five minutes. I'm your host, Morris Willie. Do you see Mr. Norlington? He subscribed in style, and so can you. Subscribe in style with Morris Money. Today, I'm talking about how Mullen can hit $1. If you're wondering why Mullen continues to rocket higher, there are multiple reasons, and all of them stem from the recent positive news. The good news begins with the company's acquisition of Electric Last Mile Solutions, which closed last week. That deal not only expanded its production capabilities by more than 100%, it accelerated the timeline to full-scale production of the Mullen Automotive fleet. That news is now compounded by a new hire and a new deal that promised to bring revenue and cash flow to the company well ahead of the production timeline. The bottom line is that this EV company is on fire, both the business and the market, and there is no telling how high it could go. Mullen Automotive got its commercial operations into higher gear with the hiring of John Schweigman. I apologize if I butchered the name. Mr. Schweigman comes from GM and has over 35 years of experience in the automotive industry. He will be the company's chief commercial officer in charge of driving growth in that segment of the business. He will oversee things like fleet sales and other enterprises focused on the company's line of commercial vehicles. Mullen Automotive's commercial lineup after the acquisition of its controlling stake in Bullinger Motors, again, apologize if I butcher the name, and the new purchase of ELMS assets includes class 1 through 6 vehicles, medium, and light duty trucks. The COO news was amplified less than a day after it was announced when the company revealed a deal to license distribution rights for the iGo. The iGo is a small electric last mile delivery truck designed and already approved in the European markets. Its small, nimble design is made for navigating narrow streets and will help alleviate congestion as well as reduce emissions. The takeaway from the deal is that it provides an inroad to the European market for Mullen, expands the brand's presence, and it provides revenue and cash flow. Mullen appears to be well capitalized after some fundraising earlier this year, but every bit will help the company on its way to full-scale production in the United States. States. And on top of all this good news, the company just embarked on what could become a full-scale nationwide tour. The tour is meant to help launch the 5 Series, which is expected to begin production in late 2023 to early 2024. The tour may attract new investors as well as car buyers, and this could help support the stock as well. I saw Mullen was trending in the news again amongst retail investors and investors alike. So I decided it was time to make another Mullen video. Let me know what you think about Mullen below. Do you think the company could hit a dollar? And if so, when do you think it will happen? This week? Next week? Or do you think it will be a couple months, weeks, years down the line? Let me know your thoughts about Mullen below. Please don't take this video as financial advice and thank you for watching Morris Money.